DSL Pro League Season 12. Well, let's get it on. Yes, indeed. G2 and Godsend, a character that we have yet to unlock as we get ready <laughs> to head into Vertigo. This is a bit of a classic map for G2 and a classic matchup. It's a classic one. Classico. <laughs> El Classico. What would it be in French? That's where Frankie would have come in handy. Just, you know, she could have told us this one. I imagine it's like Le Classique or something. Le Classique. I know what they're like, man. They 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 love their words that sound fancy. You were looking at buying property in France not long ago. Is that I right? was indeed. Well, speaking of property and real estate, looks like the A ramp is the destination for the side of G2 Esports. Jump spotting Stico. Now that gives him the situation where he has to give this up, but he's got the information. And he can transfer that over. He's repositioned himself over here towards the side hall but has no idea that G2 are waiting in mass on ramp. He has seen a few of them, but just how many is the real question. He peeks out, finds one on the Kitty S, looks for another on the Jax, but the trade comes through. Yeah, now this A-side play is well and truly here. Double nade into the boost, and that there sends Madden packing. Bomb now going down while Zen is wrapping in through ramp. Gonna have to wait and see how much he can get away with though, because Hunter is on the angle and they spot him. <laughs> they deal with him almost immediately, Zen. He snuck that whole round. He was just waiting to see someone. And the moment he does, he dies. Smoke Ooh. now on the bomb. amonek has been spammed. And this is not a good spot for them to know that you're in. In fact, it's probably the worst. Hunter. Okay. And he cancelled out. It's all a bit confusing. Madden in with another. They're tapping the bomb. Oh, what is... Oh, oh my I don't God. like it. Ah, the Get knives in. are out on either side. Oh what is it? got the defuse. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh my what was god, that? chaos. If what I've did ever we just seen see? it. I'm going to need an entire round replay. The whole thing. Everything the game. in slow mo wow. as well. Yeah. We could talk it through nice and slow. Okay, what right. So this hell? is fine. This is normal. It's like, yeah, nothing crazy is happening yet. And then it's like, cool. Little kill for Madden. I'd have had now, no ammo. So now it's ammo. like, okay. Yes. Jax was trying to play it cute and wait to get the guy off the bomb. But they just stuck it. And they just. And look, man. I, I'm in Kenny's boat right now. I'm doing the same thing. How did we lose that, guys? Oh, oh. my. Madden, so Madden had zero ammo in his USP. He's trying to body block. Crystal was on one health. Like, they, they could have shot him, but they were lining up the headshot. Didn't need to. Obviously weren't to know. The knife was too far to the right. I mean, yeah, just everything about that was a mess. That should have been G2s. It should have been them through and through. But Madden, big round from him and Crystal. Nade into middle. Does nothing. G2 are crunching B with five. I just love the grouping here on this T side. Showed it back on Nuke. Everyone, you see nothing, and then you see everything all at the same time. Well, Zen, he actually doesn't see anything at all. He just gets a bullet in the face, fast, fast flashes. Wow. To be, <laughs> and quick as you like it, this round is done. <laughs> they, they really, they weren't happy about how that last round ended. And so they just ended the second round right away. Amonex even hunting. Yeah, try and defuse the bomb now, huh? Crystal, huh? <laughs> Madden, you want to go? You want a bit of this? He does, and he takes it. He takes what he wants. That's the thing about Madden. That's why we talk about him. Great player. Great guy. There's, well, Almanek as well, though, man. He's like a real hero here for G2. Three in the round. Jackson with the double, and G2, they tie things up right away. That there is a little bit heartbreaking for Godsend. You know, they were looking to get off to a good start, and it comes to a very abrupt end in the second round. Madden. Madden Montenegro, <laughs> Madden Montenegro, Madden Serbia. What, Molden? Molden. Nonetheless, we have a tie game. G2 with the bounce back. And you can bounce the hell on out of here with that Harry. Not really sure, but I do know that B is still in the cards here for the side of G2. They look like they're going to force again, but this time Whoa. it's a totally different story. Crystal and Zen are making sure that oh. this one is not an easy path, and this round is falling apart at the seams. Just an AK and M4 left in the hands of Kenny S and Jax. Made it on a wrap. Maybe they can get a plant out of this, but as time goes by, these pistols have done all the damage that they need to do. Oh, wow. Oh. Slick shot from Kenny S, but it's not going to be enough. And God sent pick up a third or a second in the third. Right. Okay. So this is the what start is of the El Clasico that we all expected. It's yes. very back and forth. They're at each other's throats. And 
the moment the bomb got dropped so far forward, like you're already sweating if you're G2, like suddenly it's like, oh my goodness, what have we done? Have we just ruined everything? Not really, like not massively, right? They lose that round, but as a result of their first Four spy in the second being so damn clean, money is still good. Everything's still fine. So they can still buy here. Godsend, they get through that round, keeping a few alive as well to get the free upgrades. So we have like this rifle round coming in as though everything's normal in this game, which is a bit of a, a weird one. Like usually you still see some kind of disparity between, you know, like with the four spy wars continuing. That shouldn't be the case here, if I'm not mistaken. A Georgia Tech flag I see right there. I think it is. Bottom right. Yeah, this is getting to G2, you can see on the... Uh, no, man, they look counts. fine. What are you on about? <laughs> Dude, it's no longer heads in the hands. It's heads on the back of the neck. And that's when... Uh, heads on the back of the uh, neck. Hands on the back of the neck. Interesting. Yeah, that's... Uh, like some... Full-on exorcist, just <laughs> rotating around. <laughs> There's, it like screeches into place. Got one for you. There we go. Have you got that in slow-mo, though? Happy wow. now. Yeah, I, uh, actually, joy, <laughs> joyful, very joyful. They should have got you in for Jurassic World, man. You should I did. Have I did all the VOs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, I didn't want to spoil that for you guys because you'd never look at the dinosaurs the same, right? Like it is what it is. But <laughs> wait, who's touching Kenny's arm? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? I thought that was Kenny. That's why I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, how double jointed is this guy? He's What's like growing extra limbs. That's how he's so good at CS. Plays it with his third arm. Ooh. Yeah, the third arm. You got to be careful with that one. To be honest with you, Harry. We do have a little bit of a That's break That's a nice here. bed. Yeah, man. You good? Yeah, I was just looking around in the background. I like, you know. I like the way Kenny's room is. I like the little neon up there. That's like a the nice... dude uh, on the desk. What is that? Kenny S, give him some respect, dude. No, I'm saying the little <laughs> guy on the desk. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Uh, Y'all are pathetic. Anyway, not entirely sure what the pause is about, but you can imagine it might be of the technical variety. We're going to find out sooner rather than later. See? You see what I'm talking about? What is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just never going to be able to leave. <laughs> I'm so I'm dumb. just messing with you, man. It's all cool. Uh, an internet issue. Oh, oh dear. Those are like cloud nine curtains. <laughs> not there. There's no curtains here. Yeah, it's a really nice window view right there. Unless I don't like how much Kenny's shaking, man. It makes me feel on edge. Maybe you're shaking. He's <laughs> yeah, man. Maybe it's me. <laughs> I'm shaking the whole desk around. Uh, that's right. We're still on the second half of play. It's vertigo. <laughs> second, half. second half. Yeah. Uh, I said second map. Oh, maybe I didn't say that. Yeah, I don't think you did. I think, think yeah, there's oh, I went to hard a trace. We there. got there at the end of the day. Yeah, that's what matters. And that's like a metaphor for this whole situation right now. You know, like, yeah, it's a bit muddled, but eventually everything will be fine. Yeah, basically. For one team. Ooh. Mm. I don't like that. Nobody looks happy. They're staring right you know at I mean? me. Like, yeah, they look really mad, man. I've never taken time to, like, look at the player models. I mean, I can't imagine you'd be thrilled, right? Uh, oh. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> wow. Facial hair. Though. Wow. Facial All hair. right, bro. Is that, that, that me? The facial Slump hair. Slump face McGee in the server. <laughs> oh, dear. Well. Still at a pause, trying to figure out the internet situation. In case you're just joining us, this is the SL Pro League. Obviously, you know what you clicked on. You know what you got yourselves into. It's Harry, Hugo, and myself. Oh, it's Kenny who's dropped. Mm. At least his webcam is working, so that's cool. Moment of silence is upon us. It was so early into the game. I just want to see what Godsend have for us, right? Obviously, starting on the CT side, we kind of just see them reacting to G2's heavy hits that, that there are many of as well. But yeah, this is uh, definitely a team like you talked about earlier, Harry, with Devil Walker uh, uh, behind, the, behind the team in the coaching mantle. Keen eye for Counter-Strike, keen brain for the game. And he does love this map. So Hopefully that shows up in this series. It has been some time since not only we've seen this, not only head to head, but even uh, even gods have touched this map. So they've had plenty of time to build something. And with a, a weird little eco win uh, in the in the second round or third round rather.
the force buy wars, they may continue. G2 have about two grand in cash, and so it's not super tempting to buy up here. It might be easy just to eco and, and wait for that loss, but... You know what, Hugo? What? Let's get a clue, and let's do it with a pro tip. It's a good idea. Hey, Future Pros. I'm a big fan of Vertigo, and I know a lot of you out there probably don't love it as much as I do. So I thought I'd help you out and show you a smoke that will help you lock out the tees from the A-Ramp. It's a nice and easy smoke to throw and will even work on 64 tick servers. To throw the smoke, get up next to this wall. Find the corner of this tile. Run forward and throw the smoke before you pass the edge of the wall. Nine times out of 10, the tees will respect the smoke and not push through. However, be aware that they can still peek over the top of the smoke, so don't show too much skin. Good luck. Ah, uh, yes, be aware. Nine times out of 10, I'm not sure where Rushley got that stat line from, but I can see it. I can understand it, but I am definitely the exception to that rule. We're going through the smoke, make or break. It's happening. Yeah. What what people don't abuse enough in pugs, or sorry, what I abuse every round in pugs okay. is if you have, <laughs> I was going to say a good spawn, but really a spawn in T spawn yeah, yeah. on this map, you can just run up short side, right? Go full art. Like you don't have to go through the smoke. You just jump to the right of it, get in the scaffolding. You're pretty safe. You don't have to rush short. You can just chill there. You can look into the sandbags. You can go through the short smoke. There's loads of things you can why do. Don't we, so, why, don't, why don't you do pro tip videos? That'd be cool. That's what I'm wondering. And what would your tagline be? Is it like, you know, it's not like, hey, future pros. That I one's kind of already taken. That, in. Yeah. So like, what, you know, what, 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 what do you, what do you think? Hi guys who QCS for 20 hours a day and sleep an hour a night. I don't need to teach those guys everything. They're already wrecking me day in, day out. They know what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, there's, there's a multitude of options you have there. Yeah. You know? um, there was one that was just put in my ear just now, but you know, it, it just doesn't feel right to say out loud. So perhaps I won't, <gasps> but I Look, will see the freeze time. The chosen one. He's come back. To an end. The best spawn in the world as well. Kenny, look at this spawn they've given you. It's been a long way, but Kenny S, he is basically already in mid. Tell me otherwise. Let's go. <laughs> Kenny with the AK. Mac 10 for Amanek. Rush it. Let's look see the what smoke. they're doing. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to do something. Look at him go. He's running. Flip knife out. That there means business. Purple gloves, purple knife. This guy's got to match an inventory. There so we've got a baller on our hands. Kenny, fast up through short. He's pulling a Hugo Classic here. Now, Stiko in behind the sandbags. And no Whoa. one's checked for it. That there could be the undoing. Kenny's gone as well. Oh Never God. mind. We hyped this round up far too much, didn't we? It's all done. <laughs> Jax. Yeah, they tried to go fast. And... You know, if you go fast into an immovable object. Inertia. Yeah, it doesn't end well. That's something that happens. And just as we started this round, we will be ending this round sooner rather than later, it seems. Jax, 1v5, unless he can pull off a miracle. There's his first kill on a maiden. But now with four members alive at Godsent, they have the bomb trap. It's almost a formality at this point. They're all kind of grouped up here on the ramp looking to get a piece of Jax. There you have it. God sent respond. They have the answer. What has been a back and forth game up to the point of the pause. Yeah, Kenny has full sent there, didn't he? Yeah, you know, he went <clears throat> he went deep to try and check if there was anyone fighting ramp, but he actually was just second late. That player had already backed up. And then, you know, he's, he turns around to go short, but he's kind of missed his spawn uh, as a result. I like the pace, though. You know, going off the back of a pause with a rush, G2, classic. God said expected it. There's no way they didn't. The molly comes in. It only does a bit of damage. Oh, dear. And there's one for G2 that will push Zen back as well. It actually buys him a bit of room. He does survive, but maybe not for long. Okay. Ooh, one AK drop. The Glock's chased down Steeko, and so there's a weapon, but Hunter's being tagged up. Bomb plant allowed. There's no one on A. There's no one to stop them. And, oh, if Hunter can get this kill, now we're talking business. G2 with three kills all off the back of this one man. It started with a Glock and the AK might just carry them through. Yeah, 3v2. This one, definitely you couldn't have predicted to go back in the way of G2's favor, but with that bomb plan, everything kind of tipped around. Here we go. Godsent know that they have a oh, chance no. to get back in this round with Maiden Fall, and that's going to dwindle as well. Crystal all on his lonesome, and he gets glocked down to end the round out. What a topsy-turvy affair. He code. Rough waters. Take you as a seafaring lad, Harry. 
Tell us about your sailing days. Yeah, man. You know, I always loved being out on the open water. And... It's a bit of a seaman. Yeah, I was one of many seamen, actually, on that vessel. They just pack you all in there, man. It was, yeah, it was intense. But here we go. We got another buy round for G2. I love how we just kind of slip, uh, slip past the fact that G2 just won a full Glock round. Yeah, they did. They what did. Was that? Some things, you know, it's best left unsaid, right? Yeah. Like, and that's the case with G2. And maybe talking about my sailing days, that can be ticked off the list as well. <laughs> uh, it's an early kill for Kenny S on his AWP in this round. And already the the sirens blaring for God's sake to abandon ship. They get away from ramp in a sense. They're still looking to challenge as the fight is given over once his smoke fades. But they're not quite as aggressive. They've already been punished for that early on. They do have pretty much everyone here at this side of the map ready to take these engagements. So it's not going to be plain sailing <laughs> for oh, G2. Uh, How is that not a... T Hello? Hello? CS go. Hello? How didn't that work? Kenny firing twice, but firing blanks. And Farling takes down one in the meantime. Now a four on two though, and G2 looking to get this round locked on in to tie us up at three to three. It's a heavy rotation for Godsend. But is that gonna mean anything for them? Oh, I just love how much G2 is sweating this right now. He's just taking their time, not rushing into A. They know that if Godsend want two players on the site, they've got two players on the site, and they do. So G2 lining up all the utility they need to cut off these positions. Reaggression on short. Farley has beaten the Molotov. He's actually coming in on a wrap round. Amanek goes back to watch it as Farley turns. Unfortunate stuff. Zed. Oh, he's dropped the bomb. They either need to trade him or get the plant in now, and they go for the hunt, but they lose the fight. Now the plant becomes a priority as they can't guarantee the kill behind the box, Kenny gets it down and jumps up to close the round with a pistol. G2 finding three, and Kenny just sending some warning shots back to Godson CT spawn. May have been a bit of a precarious start to this map, but normality has somewhat been restored with G2 winning another rifle round and sending Godson back down the depths below. That tech nine. No, that one really gets you going, Harry. Kenny can make it work, but once again, like the, the thing you'll know, whenever a Tech 9 kill comes in, there's always someone with a rifle doing all the damage, and then the Tech 9's there to be like, haha, <laughs> another one for me. So you're a Tech 9 hater then? Yes, through and through. Absolutely. You guys want to play Tech 9s only on Vertigo later? We definitely can, Trace. Yeah. That's an enticing offer. I'll do that. <laughs> Kenny, I'm just though. I'd never queue with you in a minute. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, Hunter's Ooh. got a bit of a cash finding chance here, but he only gets two. Farley trades that one out. And these USPs looking to repeat the success of the Glocks. They throw him out into the boost. Tech 9. And oh, and he know? almost failed Kenny. He does wow. get away with the kill. Just about. Crystal spotted looking up to his left. He wanted to watch the Molotov. <laughs> there was an idea. Yeah, uh, you got to look at the ground for that to work behind that box. <laughs> Crystal, he was not looking at the ground. But that Tech 9, it just proves its weight in gold. Wow, it just about won a 1v1 versus a USP with no armor. <laughs> Almost. Incredible I just, stuff. I, I look at it and I think you guys are sleeping on the Tech 9. It's just too inconsistent in my eyes, right? Like, it's just, you don't well, you know. Loads of people use episode. it, so maybe I'm, but like, any time I've ever but seen anyone use time. it, it's also feeling underwhelming there. So I don't know, man. At the same time, right? Tech 9 over CZ on T rushes. I can see the logic there, right? You can't like rush with a CZ because you get like one chance. And well, Tech 9, you get a lot of bullets and just basically hitting the lottery button again and again and again. Hit those scratch cards with your pennies. Ooh, Kenny! Oh if he'd shot Close. then, it would have been on. If he'd done it then, he would have been fine. But Kenny with the spam, just missing. Steeko, still in this position. Do it, Kenny. Shoot Come the wall. On. Do it again, Kenny. Please. Kenny. Uh, Come on. Oh, man. Kenny, yes! Steeko's lucky he got it. Remember the name. He's down here at the bottom of ramp, and he's still holding. No, Nothing's been given over to him yet. Steeko playing this little hidden spot. I love this spot. Crystal drawing the attention away, and that allows Stiko in with the peak. He gets two, and that at least trades things evenly in this round to give a three on three over to Godsend. Utility getting lined up now by G2. They're going to try and cut this site in half, and 
This is like the bread and butter of the A site. You know, we've all seen these smokes a thousand times. We know what's going to happen here. And for God's sake, you either try and boost this man up or you just got to play retake. Amanek has once again gotten into his little hidey hole, but it didn't really work out to uh, all over the top of the smoke. Madden sees, but only gets away with a little bit of damage. Amanek still not spotted here and he should have this kill, but Zen's actually going to get it. So now the man advantage for Godsend. They're in a good spot. Jack's in the site trying to make all the difference, but Farley drops him. Missed shot from Kenny, and he's not given another. Godsend, they snatch that fourth round away as they keep this game competitive and close. Yeah, Amanek might want to ditch that position moving forward. Godsend have killed him in both times he's gone there. Zen waits in the smoke, and as we know, if you wait in the fade, well, you'll often be favored. So it's going to be Godsend getting the retake on. And a nice try from G2 with at least a bomb plant to facilitate a further buy. They have cash for days anyway. Double all out for Godsend. They're saving the big weapons. Maybe back to a B hit for the likes of G2. We saw that fast play in the second round that won the force by. There's certainly going to be the chance for an orb to be there this time, though. So not as easy as last. Madden's got it. Amanek throwing spawn flashes. He's already dropped that short smoke. But Farley peeks into Kenny, finally on the right angle, instead of these close shots that don't connect. One more on the sandbags. Are they ready for it? There's been uh, kills from this position before for Godsend from Steeko. Molly coming through. He's got a swing, and they do stop him. Kenny, quick shot. He's found his second and G2 in control of this A site. Surely this is a round that they can trade to success. Yeah, we need something huge here from Crystal and Zen. And they're looking to push short. Hunter holding it, but not able to find the killing blow. Kenny, he loves a combat orb, does this man. And this entire map basically lends itself to that style of play. We so often see him come into his own on Vertigo. He's got two in the round already. And it, oh, the <laughs> flick on a Zen puts him in the grave. Crystal still back inside of the oh, site. God. Oh, it's close. Oh. Kenny, oh, he nails it. Four in the round for Kenny S, and he's on for the ace. Kenny S maybe beat Kenny best here. As he's looking for the last man, he's on for the ace. Madden going above and beyond. Kenny lands oh, it, and it's man. the ace for Kenny. Five rounds on the board for G2, and five in the round for this man on our screens. That's what happens when his shots finally connect, right? When he's uh, when he's finally holding the right place at the right time. We've seen some very close ones with Kenny in this game, but no longer. He doesn't wait. I mean, How does he even get that kill over Jax? I do the exact same thing he does right there, too, is look over my shoulder, see if anyone's washed, if anyone... Hey, did you see that? Did you see I just aced. So, anyway, Kenny S definitely bringing the ruckus here. And certainly the time to do it. Back on pistols. God sent go. Eagle 5-7. Two nades so far and three USPs. One of those nades is going to be expended now. Just dwindling what they've got in this round. And with all this presence towards A, time and time again, it looks like Godson have sent four over here. Rightfully so. Yeah, G2 is scared of this short position. They've lost players to it before. Molly's coming down to keep Godson passing. They're going to go aggro on the ramp, though, into the rifles. That will never go well. Jack's dropped, but that should be the only casualty in this occasion. Kills back for G2, and it's Zen a long way from home. In a one on four. Bomb has been planted. Kenny's too quick for that. One HP though. You won't jump off. You won't. Yes, you won't. Anyway, so G2, start to stack them up now, but it's going to be Godsent that look to dig deep again with some weapons here in this round. Yeah, it's now or never, right? You don't want G2 to start storming through this T side, no matter what Godsend have in store in their second half, right? We saw how Nuke ended up after a 9-6 half for Godsend. G2 pulled eight T rounds in a row. Oi, oi. Oh, I thought they were run boosting, but Amanek, he's, he's picked up another railing spot. He loves sitting on the side of the map. Oh, dear. You have to see him fall. Stiko's pushed. Kenny's looking for the wall bang. He needs to aim a little bit further right. He's had some clear misses, but Stiko surviving against the odds, backing out. I mean, Kenny won't miss forever. Zen's been flashed above B, but no one there just yet. It's just passive holds all around the map for G2. They're barely even taking ramps. Stiko's spotting with a jump. Kenny sees him right back. Ooh. Stiko, don't go back, please. Oh. Okay, not for a third time. Not for a third time, Stiko. Don't do it to yourself. Kenny on the other side waiting. 
Jax just annihilates Farley. The flash is in for Steeko. And he is given his chance at redemption here to get these trades at ramp. And he has kept things even in the four on four. Hunter holding down short side again. And this time they could be a... Uh, I was going to say there could have been a flash to support this push from Steeko and Crystal, but there aren't. There is no utility left for Godsend. That could come back to hurt them if this ends up in a retake. Uh-oh. That Molotov makes you make a decision. Stay or go. And they back away. It's actually a little bit shallow, so Crystal still has an angle here. Another kill for Kenny. We've come to expect that at this point in time. Hunter now looking to worm his way up through short with just a volley of flashes. That's four in a row. They are so blind that Hunter, while well, he does get traded, <laughs> Amanek actually killing Nexa as well and amongst all the chaos, G2. They don't care who you are, friend or foe, they will put you down. And now it's all on to Zed. Oh, it's shot no. through Kenny, but Amanek trades. It's a team ace and a TK for G2 to get a seventh round. Oh, Not a little scary there towards the end of it. That was a little dicey, especially with the idea that, you know, he, he goes for the guy, he guns for the guy that's not planting the bomb. That then opens a little bit of space for that other guy that is planting the bomb. Potentially be taken down too, but he doesn't win that fight. Oh, albeit a team kill. Yep. Doesn't help the G2 war effort, but they got there at the end of the day, no matter what. Seven to four here on the second map of play. If you're just joining us, G2 have picked up the first one in this series. I want to close it out here on Vertigo. If Amadek didn't win that clutch, that would be cat catastrophic for G2 after he kills Nexa. Ooh, none of them really doing all too much. Getting spammed back from sure. Oh my. What is this round? What are these rounds? Oh, bangs. No one's even seen each other yet. And finally, they're going to break that. Amadek's like, all right, yeah, I think they're mid. And, you know, he's pretty safe in that assumption. Amadek as well, like, only exists at the highest point of Vertigo. He's always just balancing on the edge. He's a real adrenaline junkie. Man's on top. Kenny Esto has to generate power from the bottom here. Down at the base of ramp, up in hand. Rest of the gang ready to come in behind him at a moment's notice. And only two players here for Godsend. That's the thing, right? Something we haven't even addressed yet is that G2, to say that they've conditioned Godsend to really only have to worry about this A site oh. is an understatement. Like, they've only gone A apart from the two rounds at the beginning where they did hit B. Other than that, in all the rifles, they've all culminated at this A site. And so at any point in time, G2 can switch that up. Flash is great. Hunter, once again, Ooh. it's the same situation. They're blind. But he only gets away with one. The trade is found. However, quickly cancelled out by Jax, who's there at the very, very end of things to see an eighth round through for G2. Yeah, they're just making this A site their battleground right now, like cutting off positions for Godsend, forcing them into the same angles, throwing the wall of smokes and saying, hey, you want to come through? You want to come through? Come through. That's fine. And there's just nowhere for Godsend to play. They're, they're not, you know, uh, setting up for any of these retakes. They are fighting to the death on A with heavy ramp setups. But even the other round where they put three on A and they have Farley Orping on the sandbags, he got pushed before he was scoped up. He wasn't even ready for G2 to be there. And so, yeah, the thing, cracks are showing for Godsend, and especially there with a the smoke missed right like that needs to be hitting madden getting it wrong maybe he should have watched his uh watch rush's pro tip oh kenny gets legged and lives to tell the tale and not only that has started this round off in a very good way for g2 and like already if you got sent you're probably thinking like right we need to get these a rotations in but g2 they haven't committed to a just yet and as i say that they start to commit to a just now they're doing a really good job controlling underneath. Anytime that flank has come through, they've pretty much eradicated it. Now Hunter's going to work his way up quietly. Meanwhile, A site seems to be the final destination here for G2. I like the idea though, pop flashing back in, re-aggressing off the back of the utility, but oh, Hunter's playing anti and he swings out as his teammates blind, saving their lives and killing Steeko. Zen on these flanks has found very little because G2 have been very hyper aware of it. And right now they're not considering it for the time being. They've got more on their plate, focus on the site as they move up. Crystal quick shot off the orb. Zen is sneaking in on the back line. In the meantime, Zach has been spotted. Madden gets rid of him. Kenny's gone as well. He was already too low. Zen might not be needed. And the bomb yet to go down as 25 seconds. Seconds. Next, I might not want to put the numbers in. 
Zen, where are you up to, bud? He's got to be close in the, the back line by now. And oh, he swings in and Hunter's already ready. You hate to see it. This could be doable for G2 after all. Those flanks not really working out. And there you have it. That's it. Hunter with the last kill on the crystal and a round that really could have gone Godsend's way. It just simply didn't. It was sent the way of G2. And they're approaching double digits over here on their T side of Vertigo. So let's let's theory craft here. Let's theory strike a little bit. All right. So let's say this ends 11 4 G2. Yeah. Is that an open closed case? <sighs> don't lie to yourselves and don't lie to the viewers. That's your <laughs> only parameters for this question. I want to give Godsend more respect, right? I want to I want to say Godsend have got the ideas. It's just like right now, like G2 individually are just brutalizing them. Like this T side is so methodical. I yeah. I. <laughs> I can't answer that question, Trace. Not honestly. And he has just jump shot in Steeko. Oh, dear. That is just no. Well, oh, Kenny, he sees an arm. Oh. Tech Nine, of course, finishing the job. Now, what were you saying about it? Right. I will say, Once he's again, making me love it. Next, but only, uh, yeah. did the damage there. Oh. Kenny just uh, stole it away. Now, look at Zen for some big gameplay here. <laughs> this has basically been his whole game, by the way. This, oh, is, this is the guy at B having to just. Do nothing. Yeah. And it's yeah, he like, agrees. he's nodding. He's like, yeah, it's rough, man. It's rough. Like, G2, I know they don't often come B, but just for once, like, just once, yeah. let me play the game. Because you know, the second you leave B, G2 will go B. So well, the second he pushes, you know, yeah, the second yeah. that he oh, flanks. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Oh. You know, they're holding like some flank or, and that's sometimes they have, right? They haven't been rushing A. They've just been taking this ramp control. Some rounds, they wait until the minute mark before they even move up ramp. They're just holding this really slow default, like egging Godsend in, like, come on, do something, get aggressive, try and find a solution. And honestly, in games like this, the solutions for Godsend, or unfortunately, I'm saying this too late, are the retake rounds, but they've not really been able to play for any of those. You see those bodies littered at the front of ramp. This is an eco, so it makes sense why you do that, but I'd love to see Godsend give up the site for a change and try and play retake. The problem is like five on five retake is so difficult, and then you get stuck in the trap of actually wanting to take these early fights. The tech nine is just so crisp, but you just can't even yeah. deny it at that point. It's That's gun in the game, Trace. Right there. $500, 32 bullets. Wait, not anymore. How many bullets? it got? Uh, like 18, I think. Okay. I don't know. Don't play it. It's still better than the CZ. Let's be honest with yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. I talk about, I laugh at the CZ, but when I watch pros use the CZ, it looks unreal. When I watch Brolin use the CZ, I'm like, is that even the same gun that I <laughs> yeah, given? Exactly. Like, what buy menu given, is this? Yeah, yeah. Is he given like a different one to me? I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. But the, right. the problem with this is your teammate can't stand up and help you. You have to, oh, okay, he's got a gap. He's got a gap. Come on. If they swing you, man, and you are screwed. There's nothing you can do. You're dead. Nobody's doing anything at this point, yeah. though. And, and this is why Godsend can't get aggressive in the early round, because sometimes G2, they start their rounds like this. They just don't do anything. They sit back, they wait, and they slowly, guess, guess what site they're going to, they slowly take A. What a shocker. Yeah. Eventually, G2 gather in their masses, just like witches, black masses down here towards the bottom of ramp. Smokes go over. Farlig waiting on the other side. Kenny, looking to get stuck in with this orb. Steko is on the boost. Now he is to deny. Every instinct that's telling him, just go for an info peek, Steve. So you'll be fine. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Just do it, man. What's the worst that could happen if I just, just for a second, go around this corner? But no, he remains hidden, and Farley will strike nice. from the boost. And Steeko's lived up to his side of the deal. And now G2 handed a bit of a rough round here. Amanek going to come in late on this mid lurk. And oh, he's just given up the aim of the game. They now know about him. Next, uh, Oh, oh he starts to burn in the molly. Oh, my. That's not at all what he wanted. He's going to try and get it planted, but spammed by Madden. Time. And there's just no time for G2. This round is over. It's a very anticlimactic end to the half. But Godsend, they salvage five. Is that enough moving into their T half? Or is this the end? Are G2 2 owing this series? The G2 0. Join us after a break to find out.
your destiny Slay your enemy, raise a legacy No more apologies, trust your abilities Gather the energy Pull yourself back together And stay off track forever Child of the nation, we we'll seek redemption Time for salvation Today is meant to be day of victory Time for history Rebirth's a tendency Fight the entropy, channel your rivalry You're praying for fortune to come You're hearing the sound of the drums It's too late to backtrack, go back your back now Keep your feet on the road and stand up You've got what it takes to fight back Don't stop until you black out, 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 out Stand up, up, you've got what it takes to fight back, back Don't stop until you black out, out Give what you got to show him how to make At the end of the first half of play, we have a 10-5 scoreline in the way of G2. They are running the board. Now they're going to switch over to the CT side and look to keep that trend going their way. Welcome back to the SL Pro League Season 12, everybody. I'm Trace. I've got Harry and Hugo here alongside of me. We sit in the dark and we wait for this match to start. Yeah, invest now. G2 stonks are flying through the roof, stonks. and so are their rounds. 10 to 5, looking good on that T side. They they slow it down for the end of the half, and finally we get what we want from Godsend. A bit of a restraint, a bit of relaxation. They wait, and they let the, uh, the time bleed out for G2. It, it actually costs them the final round of the half, but really it's salt, it, well, not salt of the wound, it's a... Uh, Water in the wound? Yeah, that works too. Doesn't really do much, I imagine. It's, it's not a worry for G2, is what I'm trying to say. They're in a great position. They're a map up in the series. They took Godsend's pick. What excites me, gentlemen, is oh, Godsend yeah. on this T side. Oh. I can't wait to see what they're bringing to the table. Let's talk about that excitement a little bit and, you know, how it makes you feel. How do you know that it's excitement or if it's like, you know, it's indigestion, indigestion, yeah. some uneasiness? Like, how do you know the difference, Hugo? I don't know. At this point, I'm always uncomfortable when I'm with you two. So I just kind of take uh, take my emotions for what they are. I want a crazy pistol round that oh, was. It looked, it, the funny part is him trying to, like, you know, kind of yeah. isolate wall the guy. It's like <laughs> playing basketball or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Stop, 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 stop the shot. Crazy stuff. Yeah, we had a mad half, like team kills, A takes, uh, A takes, and uh, even some A takes, yeah. People playing the game. It's nuts, really. It's insane. First 16 wins, too. Yeah, the worry of a 10-5 half, for God's sake, is like you need to win the pistol. You lose a pistol, and it's not GG, but it's basically GG, right? You, you're going to be left with two rifle rounds at, at minimum, three at most, to really keep yourself in this game. And G2 probably not going to give you the room either. If you if you force in the second, it only delays plays you and uh yeah so god sent pressures on what have they been working over this halftime break in the quick minute we have before we get into the action better be convoluted i wonder if they're gonna go a like as much as g2 <laughs> did and i'm not like just saying that for the meme you know like even if you think back i think it was like north endpoint when we cast yeah, them ages yeah. ago that and happened high. right where endpoint just kept hitting a and the north were like Okay. okay, yeah, no, we then can do that. A, yeah. And then they went A every round, and then they just won every round and won the game, and it was like, wow, okay. Yeah, that's that's actually right. Oh, point. and we're going away. Yeah. Would you believe it? Everyone's favorite bomb site. <laughs> I do love Vertigo. I wish B would get a bit more love. It's great. Nexer as well, I know he shared that sentiment. We spoke to him ages ago when the changes came in at that B site, and he said now that playing in B is a bit more fun. Teams actually go B. So let's see. Not in this round, though. Nexter isn't even there, man. Look at him. He's like watching from CT. He's already not convinced. He's already thinking it's probably A because, you know, if I was calling this, I know what I would call and it would be A. So let's see the push coming up through oh, the ramp. Yeah. Kenny hidden at the boxes. That's sandbags, rather. These ain't boxes. Their bags are sand, and that's why we call it sandbags. Here's Kenny lying in wait. They still don't know he's here. And these players at the top of ramp are going to try and draw attention away so that Kenny can peek. And down goes one to Kenny Est. Can he get any more? He's lost his teammates. Does still have Hunter here. The numbers 
not dwindling yet, but now they certainly are. And Kenny, they know that he is in this position. And so Godsend, they rotate down the ramp. Are they going to go B? Are they really going to mix this one up on us? Because it doesn't look like it. They're still going up ramp. They're still looking at A. And Nexa is now here as well in the elevator room, ready and waiting to come in on rotation. Only one smoke, so they can't cut off the site. And, and that means it's going to be hard to get the plant on. Kenny, though, so low. A couple of shots away from death. One flash. 20 seconds. Here's the time. Now or never, God sent. Smoke is down. Kenny's looking for a fight. It's up short side. And oh, G2 are going to bring the battle back. That bomb. Oh, it's going to get stopped. Kenny above the box. It's Nexa, rather. He follows up. Kenny helps him. It's a mess in the kill feed. It's down to the one on one. Five seconds. Reload needed. Seiko has to chase. Nexa's hiding in the cubby. One second. He's done it. Nexa jumping with joy as G2 take the pistol. And Kenny just laughs it off. What else could you do right there? Of course you're going to laugh. Nexa weren't even trying to fight. Nexa was just looking at the wall, making his head as hard to hit as possible, jumping, looking away, giving us turns. Nexa. Style points. For sure. Yeah. That's a mess. Yeah, look well, at that. Cat and look mouse. at this chase down. And then look, one second, you can feel the pressure. And next is like, I ain't winning a fight. So <laughs> time to... you know what? Might as well just take this one yeah. straight on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a, what a weird set of pistol rounds. Both of them now have just yeah. been the, the weirdest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. And I, I don't want to do this to you, Harry, but that, that sandbag, you know, it's actually, I think, concrete mix nonetheless. Well, yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't sound as good, does it? If you say, yeah, once concrete mix. Yeah, uh, it rolls right off the tongs yeah. when you say it that way. Honestly. It does roll right off the tongs. I think that's one thing we can all agree on. Now, Godsend, <laughs> they've come in with a force buy. Ooh, they've got yeah. deagles upon deagles. No tech nines in the server today. Plenty of utility to go behind it as well, but lacking head armor on too, and that really does soften them up. Yeah, missed opportunity not having those tech nines. You just really got to look at it that way. Farley and company set their sights on the B bomb site, but a Molotov is going to come out early from the G2 side to stop them in the tracks. How much is tech nine paying you, Trace? That's what I want to know. Wrapping it. Don't worry about that, man. Worry about yourself. It's all big tech, man. Big tech. <laughs> Looking like we might see the B site get some action. Nexa, oh. now's the time, my friend. He is a great B site player, is Nexa. Yeah. Do not underestimate him, even with this MP9 as his only uh, only thing in this round. Well, his big tech is one thing, but Nexa might big pharma and them, them on this <laughs> bomb site. Give it up. Uh, yeah, there man, was an attempt. Yeah, there was an attempt. I, something it, it's about that. trying. You know, you try, you fail, you learn. And in your case, you certainly do the first two. Here <laughs> is the push in. Oh, the mid split. Ooh. Perfectly timed. Nexa looking away for just a moment. And now that bomb crosses. Zen's just wasting time was as that? well. He wants them to take as much time hunting him as they can. Oh. And uh, are they going to do it again? Is this just the repeat of that first half? With now Godsend looking to snatch away this force by. They didn't have a bomb plant though, like G2 did. So they had even less bought into this round. They've got to try and get past the pistols oh, and baby. Nexa will deliver a double. In comes Amanek with the wide swing. And if you blink, it's all on Tafalik in the 1v3 and he's not able to get it done. G2, oh. they do pick this round yeah. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, not even close. They got it. Easy. Not even close. Just fine. 12 rounds. Simple as that. Oh, man, that felt like the round, didn't it? That felt like the, the chance, the opportunity for uh, for the Deagles. And I actually, I, I love the call, right? Having Zed on the late lurk, he gets one done. He throws a nade to stop aggressing CTs. And despite that being a five on three for Godsend, G2, they just dedicate Jax to holding the flank. Two of them push in hard. Jax waits for, for, for next, or not next, so rather, Zen to come in on construction. The only place he can be and G2 get the retake over. That's, yeah, that's a hard one for Godsend because now they're forcing back in, right? They're tempted and temptation, it's cruel. It's a- uh, Temptress. Yeah, it, it really is. And now 12 to five, Godsend, they're barely gonna have full by rounds unless they start winning. Tech nine, cover in the rear. And here's Jax with the lineup. It doesn't really matter where this tech nine comes in. Crystal eventually does pick up a Galil, but it's traded out. What was a mid hit has ultimately sacrificed this bomb. It's just Stika, 1v4, and they're closing in on him. Wow. All right. So that happened all pretty quickly right there in the middle. Really wasn't even a shot for them to get into the round from the, the looks of it for the side of Godsent. 
Yeah, and this is kind of what I talked about, right? Like, no matter what you've got in your head for Godson, no matter what what ideas you have, you're just not going to be able to show them with this buffer that G2 have built up as they're just three rounds away from closing the entire series in a 2-0 fashion, far more dominant on their map pick as well. Hearts out there to the fan cam as well. We see you. We don't hear you, but we see you. I'm holding on to say a ramp. Ooh. He's gonna have some company. He's gotta dodge it out. And meanwhile, as Hunter is able to clean some of that problem up before it got out of control. Yeah, Hunter's gonna elect to stay sandbags. This is ballsy. Like this is a man looking for more kills in the round at two HP. However, what? oh, the smoke. They're, they're expecting that that he is still here. Madden hiding in the smoke. Is that gonna come back to net him a kill? Hunter is just being patient. Patience of a hunter, perhaps. Madden, vegan down one. And now Hunter being so low in this position is going to show why it is so worrisome. Flash is there to get him out of position, and he might oh, live, nice. but Madden goes up and over and drops him from the round. A ballsy place to try and hold your ground for Hunter. And ultimately, it's left the team in a three on three. They boost Kenny up at the back of the site with this AK. And now they divert a lot of their attention elsewhere on the map. G2, they're, they're still not convinced that this is going to be an A play. In fact, they're kind of leaning more towards B right now. And so temporarily, Kenny could find himself in a three against one. And those are not favorable odds. But got to remember, you're up against a guy like Kenny S. Oh, the pole. He thought it would be cover, but it's anything but. Madden can see him, and he had no info. Big opening kill. The AK retrievable. That grenade would have killed Farley. Maybe the bullets will do it instead, but the grenade could have been everything as Farley has now stolen back the advantage, taking the kill from Jax and left Nexa in a clutch. Life of a B player. Now got to win a one on three on his own. Oh, Not tiny. even a chance to get started there. Stiko plants him against the wall. Posted up, reclining almost. Yeah, that felt like just G2 getting a, getting a bit overzealous, you know, thinking that they'd already, uh, they'd already won that round. And, and they hadn't, as, we, as they kind of learned the very hard way. <laughs> These Deagles aren't messing around. And that's the thing, like, Godsend don't really have anything to lose at this point. It must be frustrating. You know, you do think about how different that round could have been if Hunter had left earlier, and then you wouldn't have needed someone like Amanek to be going aggressive, pushing with that MP9. Hunter also wouldn't, or maybe he still would have died, but he wouldn't have died immediately and then given weapons over, given a bunch of ground over to G2. Ultimately, they just didn't get a lot of information for the players that they ended up losing. Like, the only guy that they knew about was Madden, and that was it throughout the entirety of that A hit, right? Like, he's the only guy putting up kills. As far as you know, there's still only one guy at A, and that's why we saw such a heavy B and mid presence still maintained, and why Kenny was left to try and contain an A site on his own. So, yeah, it looked to me like a case of just G2, kind of like expecting they were going to keep mopping the floor with Godsent. And that's not an expectation you can afford to keep. Farley going to be holding on to this ramp push. Next to going in and he's going to get the better of him in the head to head. So immediately a man advantage here for G2. Amanek going aggressive as well. It's short. And while this is, where did Kenny just kill a guy? <laughs> what was, where, where even was that? Was that at B? Yeah. Okay. Through the wood. Yeah. Through the wood, I guess. All right, cool. That's a bit of a feels bad man for Stiko. <laughs> Bam, almost finding Hunter, but Madden's going to beat them to it. And he's come alive here. He's retaken this A site. Oh, that was almost for Kenny. That's going to deny that bomb plant. Doesn't quite deny it, but has given over. Oh, Kenny, stop. Gets naded. Zen puts a stop to him. And now it's left on to Nexa to clutch this one out. The lone B site rotator looking for Madden, but Madden looks back. And it's four in the round as God sent a trying to stumble back to their feet here over on the T side. Yeah, the orb fell between the orange boxes as well, so he couldn't grab it. I love the uh, the fact that Godsend don't give G2 the room to clutch in these scenarios. They keep refacing back in. They keep staying in the site and just being aggressive and annoying, poking, prodding, and keeping G2 out. Next on both rotations has just been instantly killed the second he comes through elevator. And this is no exception. God sent with seven. Okay, okay. We're going to start to consider it now as G2 are broken on a bit of a B eco stack. Bomb's walking in, though. I feel like Jackson Hunter are doomed to fail here. Yeah. Maybe not. 
Oh, maybe <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. There you go, mate. Called it, didn't I? Wow. That's why they. I'm a genius, bro. That's yeah. why I'm here. Harry the genius. Because I'm so brain. damn smart. It's, it's because your brain is exponentially larger than. Yeah, man. I'm like, you know, I was bullied for it a lot, but hey, it's worth it. <laughs> leaking out your ears and fire leaking on this b-bomb site there's nowhere safe here next is sticking out and kenny gets pushed by the molotov god sent okay yeah it looked a bit dangerous walking into the stack but wall banging two out before the round even begins certainly make that one swift and simple it's going to be a god sent round and now g2 another chance at the action but the recliner though yeah recliner holds strong through thick and thin through Cologne to EPL. If you were to liken G2 to a piece of furniture, would you would you liken them to the recliner? Well, it wouldn't be an ottoman. <laughs> no? Why is that? It's just saying it wouldn't. I mean, you can lean on them, yeah, but... Anyway, weird question from Harry. He won't be stopping there. Farlig is going to use his AK to take down Omenek. And on that note... What little bit of investment here the G2 have, they're going to have to do something finagling, some finessing. I'm not talking about that 40 chest junk. I'm talking about positioning. Well, these are going to get delivered to Crystal on a silver platter. Kenny is like anxiously looking over the edge. Is it clear? I think it's clear. Kenny. I oh, oh no, they're coming back. Kenny. Kenny. Oh, oh, no. oh no, he makes noise falling off the ladder as well. He was adding insult to injury, trying to go down silently. Yeah, he was trying to climb so far on the left side that someone wouldn't even see him if they were in the ladder room as well. Like really trying to sneak down. No one's safe. Not right now, not with his default for godsend. Any aggression getting punished towards the A ramp, towards the ladder. Now towards A, where all good attacks end on this map. Or just all attacks, good or bad. Just all rounds. Pretty much. Sneeko's fake and B. That might draw rotations here. G2, though, they, they don't need to win this round. Like, they can just stay and they'll get rewarded maybe with kills here. I say that. Sneeko's clear B. And so Godson go, yeah, screw it. We'll rotate. Don't want to walk into two deagles. So they won't. Free bomb site, free round, up to nine by the looks of things. And take a look at these smokes. I'm not going to throw them both because, well, that one doesn't land. But. <laughs> <laughs> my point, Take a look it? at these smokes, right? Yeah. And it's and missed. It missed. Oh, well. Okay, well, well Godsend showed this a few rounds ago, and they had what Big were using in one round of the T side of uh, of this map, and it's the left and right gen smokes, cutting off both sides, right? Similar to how you would you know, smoke off A from both sides. We've started to see teams do that more and more, finding consistent lineups and. Uh, run what you would, I guess, call a B execute, you know, with mollies towards the back of the the, the pillar and on the site. You can just be very yeah. methodical. You can Toaster out, smokes. Yeah, that's it. Toaster smokes. That's what they call them, Harry. Yes. Um, both sides. <laughs> I, I like that. Um, I'm going to use that. Yeah, there you go, man. I've got ideas, man. Yeah, that big brain coming back to help us again. But yeah, G, uh, not G2, Godsend, they, they've got the uh, ideas, right? They've got the executes, they they know what they're doing on this map. It's just about not having a big buffer because it's G2's first half and the pistol that ensued. So four in a row for Godsend. This is starting to look spicy indeed. And they keep it up as G2 come in with their biggest buy yet. Yeah, but that AWP back in the hands of Kinney. We saw him doing good stuff with it in the first half. Now would be the time to turn it up for the second half. Just three rounds away from ending out the series. And alleviating some of the pressure would start by picking up this round here for G2. Majestic hair out on Crystal. An AWP in the hands of Kenny. I want to see something classic. I want to see something vintage. I want to see Kenny S giving us what he's been giving us all series long. Now, a bit of aggression towards short for Madden. He's going to tuck himself in to the, the, the grossest spot in any map to exist ever. And that <laughs> is underneath the railing over towards short. You're basically invincible from the, uh, the top of ramp. And as well as that, over here in mid, Nex is playing the uh, construction area. He does have this support of Jax, and this mid take is kind of like grinded to a pretty immediate halt, but they're just waiting out the utility to begin it. 
They want G2 to mess up here and give him a pick, and that's just not how G2 rolls. Not yet, at least, not in this round. He's done as much to maybe even change the entire plan of Godsent in this round. Yeah, they've established a mid presence. They've set up Crystal to lurk later. And so if this does end A, which looks like the play, Crystal can come in and backstab on these rotates. G2 still have 2B though. They don't know where this one's going because they've only seen control towards middle. Now that a ramp creep crawl coming up and G2 are about to realize where Godsen are going, it's just about keeping track of Crystal who's thrown a smoke from ladder over the top as well. So he's serving use from mid. He's lined up that right side smoke on A and with 20 seconds, his plant needs to happen. Crystal's mid lurk, that's far too early and Jax is going to be ready for it. They knew they were in mid earlier and they shut it down. Amanek with another. His plant has to be allow G2 oh, could spam it off the place. site but Stiko gets it and falls back what a place for the plant right out in the open but you're right they do it and they've got three members alive here to try to defend this planted bomb a smoke's gonna come out it's gonna cause a repositioning here for godsent they're gonna play the odds here on the smoke flash over the top and here's the retake five it's deep a nasty angle for father to be looking through and he's not going to get rewarded right away but my word it's gone very back and forth farley's kept them in it amanek Whoa. trying to protect the defuser hunter not ah. able to connect the shot that there was a three on five oh for godsend God. as they reach double digits they're looking to take us the distance and we certainly could get there. This comeback is well and truly underway. Inferno waiting in the wings as that third and final map, how all good series end. And slowly but surely, like we weren't believing at first, you know, I don't think many people were, but this is now five rounds in a row for Godsent to reach 10. Once again, there's no money for G2. And that one round where they kind of like overextended and hunted for some kills that they didn't need to go for, it's just going to be replaying in the back of their minds now. Because if that round had never been given away, this could have at least been like 14-9. Yeah, it was the same story for G2 on Nuke after a slow first half with an 80 rounds in a row. This could be the sixth for Godsend and not much in their way. Not on B, G2 rushing to rotate. They'll get here in time. There's no rush for Godsend, no commitment yet. And even though they walk into the Deegs, they are far outclassing them with the weaponry on this T side. Kenny crossing in, always been spotted. That's something for Godsend to chase down. Crystal's on the hunt. The body's going to push him out wide. Steeker with a kill. Amanek does drop Crystal, but that's the only CT kill in this round, and that might stay the same. Hunter is so far away from this execute. Zen's even coming on a mid lurk with no punishment. Uh, Godsend, they've got B, they've got 11. It's just about damage and maybe getting away with a gun for Hunter. Yeah, this is, I, you know, I, I, I agree. I wouldn't have predicted this. I wouldn't have called this, but this was in the back of my mind, right? Like Godsend, they w couldn't wait for the T side on this map, especially after how G2 showed them all these rough A takes through and through. Godsend have had a little more, I don't want to say depth, but like diversity maybe is the, is the way of looking at it. They've been switching it up. They've been slow mid rounding. They've been taking A. They've had attempts at mid lurk, some good, some not. And lots of B hits as well with execute smokes, whether they land or not. This is great for Godsend. 11 rounds and looking to bring us to a three mapper, G2. Again, by eco, by eco. It's the same position Godsend were in on that CT side of Nuke. And now G2, they've got to make something happen with it. Otherwise, this could come crumbling down. I really want to see a bit more dueling for ramp control from G2 or just anywhere on the map, really. Like, they're playing very, very reactively and Godsent have already shown like a real proclivity to play slowly in this game. And, you know, like as a result, getting those early fights is going to be hard. Oh, we got the run boost. Stiko already in the B site. Nexa, did he see it? I don't think he did. I don't think he's aware of it. Stiko is already deep and Nexa just gets caught completely unaware. Trade is in for Jax at the very Ooh. least, who just about survives the journey into the site, tags up another Ooh. and double kills it to keep them in this three on three. Jax has given G2 a chance. And now we look to Kenny, Amanek and Hunter to pick up on that and carry that legacy forward into this round, because this round is so important. Kind of solidifies whether or not this is possible for Godsent at all. Okay. Madden almost burns to death in the Molotov. And so he is now very low as well. Crystal followed up onto Madden, handed the orb by Farley. Oh, 
dear. Gonna play the uh, the headshot position and try and dive out of there once he's taken a shot. Now, whether or not he survives the journey, that could decide everything in this round. And a deep smoke comes in. Uh -oh. Try and shut the orb off the angle. Kenny taps the bomb. Kenny's sticking it. There's the swing from Farley. And now Amanek, there's just no time. This peak gets given, but the round is already over. 12 for Godsend, and they can't win that retake. Oh, my. G2 had everything there. Not just the three-on-three, three, but the pick back in as Crystal swings. Farley saves the day. He gets Kenny off the bomb. They weren't ready for the back rail swing, and somehow there's no time for the defuse. I didn't see if they had a kit there, but, but Kenny's on the bomb without one, and so I can only assume that was not available for G2, which is a bit of a problem in these late buy rounds where, you know, you, you have money for everything. Kenny had a kit, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very slow, the, the I, bar. I'm not yeah, sure. That's that's me getting that wrong. Don't worry. But G2, man, that was so close. It was just how quick it all went down. Farley now leg. Luckily, he holds on to the orb, so not losing his life yet. And not entirely sure how he stayed alive right there. Kenny S lands the shot on him, brings him down to 16 HP. Hunter with the aggression towards the scaffolding. And now we're set in. Hunter gets a second. That wow. creates quite the problem. But then again, we have seen Godsent win three on fives. So it's very much a reality here. Oh, this is a good call, though. Kenny's going to flash Amanek back in at the right time. Oh, this is early, though. And he's not going to go with it because the smoke is still down. And Crystal on the headshot angle. Very hard shot to hit back in for another try, perhaps. Crystal dodges and ducks out. Farley with the orb. Oh, risky peak, considering he's a shot away from death. Oh, another time. Third one's the charm, they think. But, well, that's not the case. Next is here, tucked on B stairs. Stiko's going to check it. And Godsend have opened up the B bomb site. An excellent alert for Stiko has now caused all these rotations. Now, G2 are here as well. Jax has come in towards this B bomb site before any T's have joined Stiko. Amanek showing his presence. Stiko might not know there's a player in the smoke. His bombs finally join them, but G2, they're going to fight to stop this plant. Jax has already taken a kill. He's double with the Deagle. Bomb dropped, trying to cross to the back of the site. Crystal in a clutch. Yeah, he's got to do the world here in this 1v2 godsend. They've tried so hard to tie this up at 13-13. It cannot all be in vain. Dodges the shot from Kenny. Crystal taking the fight, but Jax oh, is going to dig him down. And G2, they do recover. They reach 14. There's still so much money for godsend, though. If we remember, yeah. this is giving me some real nuke memories here. In the, it was it was a similar case, right? Godsend were able to get that one round, but it didn't it didn't mean anything for them in the grand scheme. It's not like you reset your opponent. This is a grind now to the finish line for G2, but that is still a huge round for them to pick up. They had the saved orb, and then they had a couple of SMGs, a couple of UMPs brought forward into that round, and that was it. But still seven rounds in a row here for Godsend. That's going to ring true, Ooh. and so is that AWP shot from far. Like Kenny S, see you later, buddy. It'll be next round before you get another chance. Empty little boost here. Hunter's going to be able to spot over towards this A ramp. Oh, dear. There's a timer on this boost. They have the smoke down on short, luckily, but he can't see a thing. They can come through short and be a real issue. Oh, my goodness. At a moment's notice. Oh, only the tip of the head. There's another one. He gets shot by the York, and he has to fall off. That's unreal. Farley is ready for everything. Even the spam damage, the grenades back. It's warfare on both sides. Oh dear, War Bangs could spell the demise of Hunter. Might want to peel away. He's using all of his grenades while he still can. Resmoke close. Crystal hits the molly. G2, do they want to do it again? The flashback forward. Hunter gets aggressive and he pulls back the man advantage. The man who was low does the heavy lifting here for G2, but they are their job is not done. Smoke's getting lined up on this A site for Godsend. Amanex tucked. I think he might be sticking out there. Crystal, did he see him? Doesn't look like it. Madden's watching, peering over with the AWP, and he's been flashed off as well. Amanek is waiting for the right time to strike. He needs to pick his battles. There's the double up. Oh, and a third for Amanek. He almost, he does take them all down at the very, very end. Three in total with one of those getting sniped away. But G2, it's match and series point now on the line for this G2 squad. It took them some time to get there. And in spite of losing a man early on and orping a player, Hunter, up on the boost when he's trying to peek over, it looked like a really good start to that round for Godsend, but Amanek just goes above and beyond. Finally, one of these little weird angles yeah. he's obsessed with actually pays off with, for him.
And it's nice to see, you know, like so often he's just been sat in them and hasn't really done anything apart from die. So finally he gives us the round we were looking for to get G2 back on track. And that's where this differs from Nuke, right? It wasn't just a one and done round. It's G2 building off the back of it, putting all their players on A. They know that God sent want to go back into what is comfortable, what is supposedly safe. But with an A site stacked, they have the defense there and... Boy, oh boy, this could be all coming to a close here and now. Godsend, they've really, like, regardless of how this round goes, respect to these guys, because they've put up a hell of a battle against G2, but it could all come to a close here and now. Kenny back for another one, a risky move. It's been punished, but this time a quick flick, he finds nothing, falls off to the site. There were flashes there as well, keeping uh, Godsend blind. I'm convinced that Kenny purposefully doesn't aim in the right place just to land a flick, man. What's he doing now? Oh, dear. Kenny's trying to shoot them through the ground are we accidentally watching an mm game with someone called kenny s in it like what is this wait click his profile no he's got the major coins yeah it's the real one nah man i don't believe me shooting us through the floor what do we even do Oh, first bit of B aggression all game. Yeah, Next has been caught on the stairs being tucked in some rounds, but now him and Amanek, they've had enough of waiting. Perfect timing, right? If there ever was a round to do it, it is this round. Farley has just left it as well. He's gonna give it one final glance and he's like, guys, I think it's good. I think we're in the clear. But it turns out they were not in the clear. Farley Ooh. goes back. Doesn't spot them again. Oh, no. Nexa and Amanek closing in. Now, this flank really does decide everything. Either they find all the kills from it or they fall, and then that opens up a rotation into B, and this whole round is thrown back into uncertainty for G2. So these flanking players holding their ground is perfect as this A execute now comes in. Yeah, they're not rushing it, and that means G2 know what's coming. They know to expect the A site play. Nexus got one on the flank, but the second man has not been seen. Godsend are backing up into enemy territory. The trade is there, but Amanek has not moved. Given away his position, that's a bit of a prod in the back of Godsend to start this retake off. He doesn't want to die early and give them more safety, more sanctuary towards the ramp. Kenny moving in with his team. They've got kits to get on the D fuse. Everyone armed. Jax with one. Hunter's moving up. Crystal's got to get a shot off from short, but there's two players watching it, and Jax does not stop. He's going back for a third. Farley with the orb hit a kill, and somehow, some way, it's all come falling apart. G2, they hit two more shots. Hunter gets it done, and Kenny on the D fuse. It's G2 finding a 2-0 over Godsend. Commiserate.